glorify God, and that is the number one priority. But I'd like for you to share what happened. Okay, so first of all, there are a multitude of things that came out of your word to me, and I'm just going to keep it to what we talked about. Um, first of all, uh, one of the things that you said is that uh, arthritis would never enter my body, and I was sitting there going, oh, I was looking, and I felt like the Lord's like, when Chris prophesies, it's not tailored for the Kronos time, and so... And the last thing you asked me is, do you receive the healing? And I was like, yes, I received the healing. And I was muted. And I was like, Lord, help me receive this meeting, because, uh, uh, healing. Because I, you know, I believe, but help me believe, help my unbelief thing. And so um, by the end, I felt like it had gone down about half a size. But it's like, okay, I'm not going to let my mind take over here and do things that aren't really happening. But then every day I was... And I got a, a text from an SOP member that said, God doesn't call out things that he's not going to heal. And so I just hung on that. And every day, it's like, Lord, thank you for your healing. Help me to receive that healing. And over the course of a couple of weeks, all of the knots are gone, not just my big one. And every morning, um, every morning, I'd also do my finger, it's like, you know, oh, you know, it's like, can I move them? And it's like every morning they get like a little looser. So, and even my toes. <laughs> anyway, so that was number one. Number two, I'm not going to claim it fully yet because I don't have the lab work to, to prove it, but this is something I've been struggling with over, well, about 27 years, and it has like held me hostage and just up and down all over the place. And my meds that I was taking for that was like 120 milligrams and down to 30 and my body's telling me that's too much and so I'm believing there's a, a healing right there so I just want to thank you and thank you for doing that and just um, I think the thing that's just burning in me to say is he has no respecter for people and like there's nothing I didn't do anything and he'll do that for anyone. I was like, oh, I mean, that was just a huge love factor to me. So. I think what you're trying to say is if he did it for you, he'd do it for them. <laughs> Thank you for your testimony. Would you give her a hand and the Lord a hand for healing arthritis, lumps, bumps, leaving, swelling, pain, and thyroid. And this one's great. This one happened this past Sunday. I tell you, our Sunday meetings have been taken off around here. We got tables around here in the center, but we put that up for the conference. The last six weeks, all the tables have been gone. It's full in here. We've been having over a thousand on Sundays, new people coming in. And so new connect groups and all of this stuff, man, our, our, our team is working hard, but this guy is a special guy that you're going to enjoy his testimony. Praise the Lord, brother. Praise the Lord. So, I'm 70 years young. Um, that, that hasn't quite got to my head yet, my wife says. <laughs> she keeps reminding me. But anyway, it's been years since I've been able to dance before the Lord, jump up and down. It's been years. And, uh, I don't know, Seven years ago, I started having surgeries on my ankle and on my heel, and, and that knocks out about four months of a year because you can't walk after the surgery until the tendon grows back in and all this. Achilles, yeah, my Achilles. That was my second surgery on this head. And uh, so I suppose I now have it done on this one. So I had some, um, I tr I, instead of doing the surgery, I've been praying, oh, Lord, heal it, heal it. It did, didn't seem to happen. So, okay, well, I tried the... Um, uh, uh, stem cells. Um, there's a pro-life doctor in, in my uh, county in Kentucky that uses only stem cells from placentas, and he put it in. It was just a couple hours old. He put it in. He says, it'll take about eight months. Well, the pain did go down. I was able to walk, but there were some days that I had to have a cane. I was always walking down, crab walking down the stairs, you know, so I wouldn't have to bend my foot much. Um, dropped my bike one time because I wasn't able to stop, you know, just issues. And the other day I was, I was here and 
Brother Chris was, the anointing was on, and he was prophesying, ministering to a gentleman over there, and I was over here, and I was like, Lord, that, I need that. I need that now. And, and the next thing I knew, I was, I was doing this, and I was like, wait a minute. There's no pain. The, the pain's gone. And so I started, I ran up here, and, and God just healed it. It was just absolutely healed. So it's kind of funny that tonight, you know, he, he asked me, would I mention this? I said, sure. So his wife, his lovely wife, told me to sit over here. And I'm sitting over there, and they started dancing around here. And I'm like, oh, man, I wish I could do No, I can't do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank God. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. His name is Jesus. Pain-free. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.